breaking news. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rob Powers and I'm Damon Maloney. We start here at five o'clock with the very latest on a deadly crash that happened this morning on Interstate 90 in Cleveland. Joe Paganakis live for us right now from near the crash site with details. Joe. Rob Damon, you can see I-90 has just been reopened to traffic. Those eastbound lanes here on I-90 near the West 117th Street exit shut down for more than four hours after a two vehicle collision took place just after noon. Sadly, two people losing their lives in the two vehicle crash. Uh, we were told by Cleveland EMS, a seven year old and a 16 year old were killed in the car that was traveling eastbound after it was apparently hit from behind by a Kimbler garbage truck. Again, this happening at about noon. All four lanes were shut down on I-90 eastbound. Uh, the vehicles were towed uh, from the scene about two hours ago. Again, the Kimbler garbage truck uh, trying to stop. There were plenty of skid marks. You could see that the truck was trying to stop. Sadly, though, the truck slamming into the back of the passenger vehicle. It's also confirmed by Cleveland EMS that three others inside that passenger vehicle were injured. So again, sadly, two people killed, three injured in a two vehicle accident here on I-90 eastbound just after noon. And again, the Kimbler garbage truck trying to stop. It's not clear whether or not that passenger vehicle lost control. News 5 photojournalist Mike Harris was first on the scene and said that based on the skid marks, it appeared that the passenger vehicle did cross multiple lanes before being hit by that Kimbler garbage truck. Now, you know we're gonna have the very latest information as this investigation just getting started. The Ohio Highway Patrol was on the scene. You can still see emergency vehicles are out here trying to continue to clean up the debris from this terrible crash uh, that is on the berm here. We'll have the very latest for you uh, later here on News 5 at 5 o'clock. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. Yeah, Joe, thank you so much. That's just, just horrible. Thank you so much for that. That's going to take a while. My God.